Well, good evening, folks. I got my head did. What's left of it? It hadn't fell out yet. Tonight, we're going to film an episode, and the kids are going to cook, and I'm going to help them along, instruct the guests, and film. Join us. Ciao, y'all. All right, we're starting off the glaze here with hot, spicy Tabasco Heinz ketchup. We have some brown sugar in there. Next, we got a little apple cider vinegar. So Junior Chef's over there whipping up some biscuits right now. We'll put a little Dijon mustard, and that's the final thing for the glaze here. Now all you do is whisk this up good, let that sugar dissolve. It'll be a nice glaze, tangy, sweet, and a little spicy. Just whisk that up good for about a minute, and uh, it's ready to go on now. Okay, so first thing we're doing here is sauteing uh, about a quarter of an onion. We're going on meat loaf. We got about one pound of meat here, so let's use about right a quarter of an onion. So in the lodge mixing bowl, first thing we're gonna do is throw in a couple of lodge eggs. One pound of meat here. Now something I like to add to mine, a lot of people don't. I like to add a couple ounces of whipping cream and kind of richens it up a little bit. There we go. Adds a little fat to it. One thing I like to add in mine is a little dry thyme. Just kind of rub it between your fingers there and kind of break it up a little bit. Really gives it that hearty, uh, earthy flavor. Okay, so the next thing you do is go find the hammer that your son threw across the yard from hitting his thumb from hanging Christmas lights. And take a couple of these bullion to beef here and bust them up good. I'm going to turn the camera off so I can do this properly. So you just smash those with the hammer with the wrapper still on and then kind of bust them up to a powder. This is a nice little trick you can use. If you want to make your cube of bouillon some powdered seasoning. There we go. Powdered bouillon. Okay, so throw these uh, onions we sauteed up in here. All right, next thing in, some Worcestershire sauce. I got some Heinz here. It's not the Lee and Peran, but it's Heinz. Worcestershire sauce. The most uh, incorrectly spelled word in the world. And then we're gonna add a little Dijon mustard here. I got this coarse grind Dijon mustard. This in here. A little tanginess. Next thing, a little garlic powder. And some black pepper. A little bit of kosher salt. Remember, your shot has got salt in it, and so does that little bit of uh, bouillon we put in there. So you don't want a whole lot of salt, but enough where you can taste it. Somewhere around so. And there's a pound of meat, so it takes more salt than what you think, but not too much salt. Now at this point, wash your damn hands. Make sure your hands are clean, because they're about to get nasty up in this uh, motherfucker here. Hand mix this until you get it all incorporated. It's gonna be wet and soggy, and we're gonna bring it back together. We ain't using breadcrumbs. I'll show you what we're gonna use. We're using household staples. All the stuff you should have in your house, pretty much. I mean, you might not have the time, but everything else, beef bouillon from the dollar store, I know you got that up in your house. Now, the beef bouillon up in your house might be some shit your grandmother bought you know, 13 years ago before she passed away. But the half-life on beef bouillon from the dollar store is about 26 years, so you're still good. Okay, so here's what we got. I got a whole package of saltine crackers, 
So I'm just crushing up by hand, smashing the shit out of it, and that's gonna be a breadcrumb to make this goop come back and be stiff again. So I'll suck up all of them liquids. It's gonna look more like a meatloaf. There we go. That's coming all back together now. It's gonna be a nice meatloaf. Loafer. So what we did there is press that into a six by six pan here, a metal pan. Now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna cook this on 350 for about 45 minutes. This edge here is gonna pull away all the way around. There'll be grease sitting on the outside edge when I pull it out of the oven. We're gonna pour the grease off, and then we're gonna put the, uh, the glaze on it, put it in for about another five minutes, and we're gonna be ready to eat. Now a lot of times I put some bell pepper in there, but I don't have any, so we're gonna go without the bell pepper. But there's one important thing you need to know don't let your meat loaf now a quick disclaimer here there is one million ways to make a meat loaf or more it's kind of like a sonic uh, drink the combinations are endless mrs chef makes hers different everybody makes it different but this is just one of them the way i make it uh, sometimes yeah, something's smelling pretty good in here let's see what we got going on so you see there it's starting to pull away from the sides there's not a lot of grease in that because it was a uh, lean ground beef anyway so that's looking pretty good but it's pulling away real nice we're getting close so i can tell by pulling it out there and seeing it coming off from the edges like i was saying that it's ready to go but if you're not comfortable you can get yourself a thermometer here these are only a couple bucks and just stick it in here and make sure when if you're using the thermometer you don't touch the bottom of the pan because it'll give you a false reading the bottom of the pan is going to be real hot you want to go right in the middle right in the center of it, not touching the bottom of the pan, and get you a reading. And we way, uh, we way good here because we're over 150 already and we're gonna put the glaze on it here and put it back in the oven for another five or six minutes. So we're good. So by using the 93% uh, lean, there ain't no fat to pour off of here. It's all absorbed in. But if you use like a 30, 70, you know, something like that, like a normal ground meat, there's gonna be fat around there, you gotta pour off the edges. So that's the difference if you're using a fat one or unfat one. You're gonna pull that right on top there. We're gonna spread it out here with a spatula, glaze the whole thing, and put it back in the oven for about five minutes. All right, there we go. So that's all evenly uh, coated there. Let's throw it back in the oven for five minutes. Ooh, wee, look at that. Paper plates are fine, Mr. Shea. Well, we're running out this fantastic meal with some green beans, some homemade biscuits, and uh, some mashed potatoes. But this episode is all about this here meat loaf. There's all the good sauce on that side. Let's see what we got here. Mmm. 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 -hmm. That's delicious. And hot. Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this film. I hope to make this at your house for your family. See you next time.